direct, inverse, and joint variation. Here we want to discuss the relationship that certain variables and values have with one another. There are three formulas that we need to remember. Direct variation, y equals kx. Inverse variation, y equals k divided by x. And joint variation, z equals kxy. And in all three of these formulas, k is considered the constant of variation. So it's really important that you memorize these three. They're very similar, so make sure you can tell them apart based on the name of direct, inverse, and joint variation. When we're given a problem and we need to find an unknown value using direct variation, this is how the problem might be given to you. It says the variables x and y vary directly and y equals 12 and x equals 4. That tells you about the relationship between x and y. Then there's a second part of the problem that says find y when x equals 5. So there are actually two parts to this problem. The first, we need to choose the correct variation equation. Since it said direct, we're going to start off with y equals kx. Then we want to substitute the given values from the first part of the problem into the equation. So we're going to take our y equals 12 and x equals 4 into our direct variation equation. 12 equals k times 4. Then we want to solve the equation for k, our constant of variation. So we divide both sides by 4 and then we have 3 is equal to k. Now what this k tells us is that in this problem, the relationship between the variables x and y, they vary directly with this constant of 3. So the equation that relates all the variables x and y in this problem would be y equals 3x. This is the equation that relates the variables. Now, next we want to get to the second part of the problem. It says, find y when x equals 5. So in this problem, where y equals 3x, we want to use the value of x equals 5 to find y. So that's what we're going to do. Substitute in k and the second set of given values into the original variation equation. So we have y is equal to 3 times 5. And then lastly, we can solve for the unknown value y is equal to 15. And this is what the question asks us to find. So in each of these questions, we have two different answers. One is the equation that relates the variables, and two, the value of the unknown variable that we're looking for. Next, let's walk through a problem involving finding values of an inverse variation. So here it tells us that the variables x and y vary inversely. So First, we want to start off with the correct equation, y is equal to k over x. And if we keep reading, it says that y is equal to 8 and x equals 3. This is our first set of values that's going to help us determine the equation for the relationship of these variables. So let's go ahead and substitute that in. So our y is 8, k is our unknown right now, over 3. And then we want to solve this equation for k. So in order to get k by itself, we need to multiply both sides by 3 so that this cancels out. 3 times 8 is 24. So here is our constant. Next, we want to write our equation that relates the variables. So y is equal to 24 over x. So this equation relates all of our values in this set of problems. Then we want to take the value that they give us, x equals negative 4, so that we can solve for y. So y is equal to 24 over x is equal to negative 4. Then 24 divided by negative 4, we have y is equal to negative 6. So again, here's the equation that relates our variables, and then here is the unknown value we were asked to solve for. We're going to follow that same idea 
this time using joint variation. So we introduce a new variable z, and it varies jointly with x and y. So when we vary jointly, the equation we begin with is z is equal to kxy. And then we want to find k by using the values given to us. x is 3, y is 8, and z is 6. So let's substitute those in. And then we need to solve for k. So we have 6 is equal to 3 times 8 is 24k. And then divide both sides by 24. And then we have 1 fourth is equal to k. Then we can write our equation that relates the variables. z is equal to 1 fourth xy. Now we want to substitute the second set of values into our equation that relates our variables so that we can solve for the unknown. So x is equal to negative 4 and y is equal to 7. So z equals 1 fourth times negative 4 times 7. So lastly, let's find the value of z. 1 fourth times negative 4 is negative 1 and then times 7 would be negative 7. So z is equal to negative 7. So again, here we have our equation that relates our variables with the constant of variation, and we have our unknown value that we needed to solve for. That's it for this lesson. I'll see you in class for more practice.